Ghost. Oh, I want to talk to somebody here. It's a critical piece now because the writer is using some significant metaphors. And one of the metaphors he uses to lead into this is the fact that a whole lot of folk are dreaming. And when they wake up, they're still hungry and they're still thirsty. And I liken that to us coming into the house of God and using the liturgy worship and the presence of God in the church to make you feel like you're satisfied but then when you walk out of the church and wake up into the real world that you have to deal with every day you find yourself hungry oh I feel it here if the spirit that rests in this place right now could rest on your job tomorrow then the devil wouldn't have have any power over what goes on on your job if the spirit of worship that's in here now and the joy that we feel after the praise team could be carried into the home when the devil's rising up against you then you could shut him up right there and tell him get out of my house you don't belong in here the problem is there is a distinct difference between being in the house of God and being in the street and the metaphor to Israel was when you in the temple uh -huh, you sleep but when you wake up in real life you're still hungry and the reason you're hungry is not because you don't know how to worship it's because you don't know how to walk right after you come out of the house of God I feel like having church here tonight I ain't trying to hurt nobody I got I just got to preach it's a critical piece here I'll give you just an example it was real funny and I think in a way this is what led me to this text I'm coming home from Philadelphia yesterday and as I was riding on the plane I was sleeping as I usually do whenever I get into the plane because the hours are so different when I wake up in in Philly at six o'clock to catch a seven o'clock plane or an eight o'clock plane you got to get to the airport an hour in advance if you're not doing your own thing <laughs> so if you get there and you're getting up at six o'clock now you're getting up at three o'clock your time and my time <laughs> so even though chronologically it's six o'clock biologically it's three o'clock because my body is going by three o'clock <laughs> so when I get in the plane well it's early yet because it at eight o'clock it's still five o'clock so my body says bedtime so I sit back and I tell the lady well don't worry about me just give me uh, what do you want give me some cran apple and you won't have to worry about me till I get to the next stop and then I wear one of these hats one of the, the what's kind of what kind of hat is that uh, it's a what it's a ski cap and what I do is I put the ski cap on on, and then I open it up so it's over my eyes so it keeps my head warm and keeps my eyes from all the light that's shining through the window and I'm gone that's it goodbye I'm sleeping and while I'm dreaming I'm having a little spat with my ex-wife we're sitting in the back of some open vehicle and she wrote a book and I said to her well baby let me help you with this book since I've written books I can help you well the reason we're here I'm here she's there is uh, according to the dream she said I don't need your help and so we started arguing and the next thing I know I was grabbing her chest as I reached for her chest I was rudely awakened because the gentleman beside me he spilled wine all over my clothes and I came up out of it and he said sorry 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 I said no it's all right you got me out of a nightmare the difference between what you dream in and reality are two different things because you can dream your way up into worship you can dream your way up into dancing but you can't dream your way up into walking right and being what God would have you to be you can dream you're all right but if you'd wake up and you
you ain't walking right, then you're going to fall under the judgment of the living God. I think where we have gone wrong when we preach health, wealth, and prosperity is we put all the saints in a dream and everybody was dreaming about money and dreaming about riches and dreaming about bigger houses and bigger cars but what we should have been dreaming about was being sanctified treating folk right living above sin and walking holy I feel like having church I can I preach like I feel it this ain't so popular but it's true anyhow if the folk had preached us the tattoos, the statues, and the maxims of God, because we have moved from being a holy church into being a rich church. Riches were what we sought, not holiness. But now that God has snatched our riches, Oh, I feel the Holy Spirit here. We had gotten to a place where, y'all sit down, I got a little more work to do, where we had completely forgotten that holiness is the key thing for the house of God. We had become so complex and so sophisticated in our behavior that we forgot the simplicity of walking with God until we began to measure how close we are to God by what we have and not by what we do and who we are. Because you can have a whole lot of stuff and still not be close to God and that's what God says it ain't nothing but a dream and when you wake up you're still not satisfied because unless you walk the walk talk the talk and live the life every day you're living in a dream world if you believe God does not sit high and look low I feel like preaching I tell preachers all the time I say we do a whole lot of stuff but we will never make it right I don't care what you do some stuff you'll never make it right I don't care how weak you are I don't care how easy you can justify why you're doing what you're doing you still can't make it right I don't care how you say that your wife ain't treat you right so you got a girlfriend you still can't make it right I don't care if you walk in a store and say you're hungry and you got to steal somebody's stuff you still can't make it right I don't care how you lie to avert a problem I don't care how you've been disobedient to avoid a situation you still can't make it right I don't care how hot you get on a summer night and I don't care how boiled up you get after watching crazy movies to have somebody in your bed that you're not married to you still can't make it right I might as well do this thing like I feel it and so the Lord says you're just dreaming and when you get up you're still not satisfied wouldn't you like to take the joy you feel right now in the house of God wouldn't you like to take it home with you well the thing that safeguards it and makes it a reality is not how high you shout when you're in the spirit but it's how straight you walk when your feet hit the ground I feel like preaching up in here tonight can I have I told you touch your neighbor yet well just hold on I'm gonna do it just a few times he said I fixed it so that nobody can see it and that's the problem with the church is when you can't get a word from the Lord when the only word you get is from the spirit of man because man knows how to scratch the ears of other folk they know what you want to hear and the reason we got in such a mess is because we were manipulated but not exploited because exploitation means somebody did something to 